Swift tried to do me dirty. Swift tried to X me out the trucking industry, bro. They tried to get me gone. If I didn't have them three months, it would have been detrimental. At least I got them three months, though. I ain't tripping. They tried to X me out. Praise God, bro. Ah, it was good, y'all. I'm back with these vlogs now, man. I ain't been slacking, bro. I just haven't been trucking and whatnot. But first of all, these 2AM hats. 2AM, you did. Link will be in the description. Go ahead and get you one if y'all want to go ahead and show some support. But man, today I, I had my orientation today, bro. Y'all know orientation take forever, bro. Them orientation sessions be 30 minutes, bro. Not even 30 minutes. They be 30 hours long, man. This guy was just sitting there talking for the longest, but I found me a new position, bro. Swift tried to do me dirty. Swift tried to do me dirty. And what I mean when I say Swift tried to do me dirty is like, they tried to, uh, they put a no rehire on me. Like they put, apparently they say I violated the policy. So these other companies, they wasn't trying to hire me, bro. They say I need at least six months back on the road before they hire me again. I kind of forgot the, I forgot how to drive it a little bit. I haven't been inside a semi truck in so long. I kind of forgot where to, uh, I'm, I'm even trying to think like, it's so bad, I'm trying to think. How do you even change gears in there for real? Once I get back on the road, give me like an hour, I'll shake right back. But I'm, I'm excited though, bro. I'm going off of the mileage, but they saying I should be guaranteed at like, they saying 3,000 miles, but they say I'm, I'm looking at 3,000 a week, but you know how companies and recruiters be lying or whatnot. So it's probably going to be like, 2300 24 25 a week and that's cool for real but 3000 hey if we if we really touch the threes then that's what's up i recently attempted to go on a five day fast i tapped out on day two honestly i didn't even really get the day two all the way now nah, i got the day two like the end of day one i tapped out quick but when you fast, bro, it's like you go into a whole nother world, man. Like I was fasting and it's like the veil was breaking. Like, I was looking at the world I'm already in from a different perspective, bro. And it's just amazing though. And I was running in my miles like I usually do. So fasting and running, you sweating out, all that stuff out your body, getting out your body and you detoxing because you fasting. Life. Let's go though, man, let's go. Another thing I think I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna start making my vlogs like much longer, like 40, like nah, 40, like 40 minutes, 30 minutes plus. But I'm back though, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all rock with the vlogs, bro, and I appreciate that, man. Before I go out here to meet these people and shake their hand and whatnot, I'm gonna come over here and get, a, I'm gonna get some food, man. Come out here and get some food. And for y'all that smoke cigarettes, bro, can y'all please do it in y'all own area, man? I'm saying that because where I live at is courtyard, but people just right by the entrance where you walk through, they sitting there blazing the cigarette like, damn, you about to kill me and you? Come on, huh? Oh, this is what I do, like, just all this noise. I think they built in the apartment complex right there. Just a lot going on, a lot of people. I be getting compliments on these pants a lot. I don't even know where I got them from. I love it out here, man. Love it out here. Bro, one of the downfalls of being healthy is that when you don't eat healthy, you feel guilty or you, you really, and when you aware of your body like me, when you eat whatever, bro, you will feel it in your body. You can feel it in your system. I can really gauge my body and know how foods affect me. Like, cause this is the thing, bro. This game for y'all right here, if you don't know. Whatever you eat, anything that you eat, it either hydrates you or it dehydrates you. One thing I like about this position I got now is that I'll be home a lot more. The main thing about being over the road is that I wasn't able to I couldn't eat as healthy as much as, as I wanted to, or if I could, I had to fast a lot because it wasn't that many fast, I mean, healthy food spots that I was coming across. 
and exercising was a major challenge but now i'll be home like every other night or every night no every other night or every two nights so that give me enough time to like run into whatever i gotta go hello So that gives me enough time to run into whatever store I might need to go to and just sustain myself, man. It's a blessing, bro. Things work out perfectly, man. Swift tried to do me dirty. Swift tried to X me out the trucking industry, bro. They tried to get me gone. If I didn't have them three months, it would have been detrimental. At least I got them three months, though. I ain't tripping. They tried to X me out. I recently came across some people talking about the SOS free diet and it makes a lot of sense. Salt free, oil free, sugar free. Those three things are very detrimental. Oils for me is very bad, bro. Let me know if some of y'all like this. Like you will eat something that has a lot of oil in it, especially if it's like canola oil, you know, the bad oils. You will eat that and I can feel it clogging up my pores. I can feel it moving throughout my veins, like my body. I can feel it just, I feel thicker paws. I feel like my body is getting more bloated. I just feel like I'm being weighed down and whatnot. But whenever it's out my body, I feel amazing. I feel free, like I can move my body just so smooth. And then with the oil as well, I can feel it affecting my brain and my mind. It'll kind of clog me up. Let me know if I'm the only one. All right, y'all, now that I'm finally in this truck, I can sit here and chop it up with y'all now, man. So I'm no longer with that one company I was I was gonna go with, which was UX Express, and I'm glad I'm not. Already the energy here is a lot better, man. This is a, it's not really like a mom and pop, but it's a much smaller company, like I was saying earlier. It just feels more like a group. It feels more like, a, the best way I can describe it is like, I'm not at a party. Like a mega carrier is like you at a party with thousands of people, y'all don't really know each other. I feel like I just walked into a, a get together, if that makes sense. That's the best way to describe it, bro, because the energy is important. And where I'm at now, bro, we got a weekly minimum. I'm not gonna say how much the minimum is, but it's straight. Like we got, I think I might have said it earlier. I don't know, but it's straight though. This weekly minimum is decent. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to be going from here to pretty much like San Antonio, like Dallas, and then like Midland and then back to Houston. So I'm pretty much gonna be going in the triangle. He said I should be expecting to do the same loads. I'll be getting used to it. But honestly, it feel good to be back though on this channel, man. I'm not really the type that likes to start something and not finish it. So it feel good to be back. It feel good to be back vlogging over here. I just got a new tripod for this GoPro. One of them ones that stick up. Now I'm not gonna lie, this truck that got me in, it's a little dirty in here. Like, but they said, Right, I'm, I'm only had to be in this truck for like four days. Four days. They got a new truck coming on the way. They just bought some new trucks. It's getting delivered in the uh, middle. So once I get up there, I'll go ahead and swap this truck out. And then I'll be in that new truck. Because right now, it's a little... As you can see, it's, and it's a 2016. Like, this is an older truck. It ain't ancient, but it don't got no Bluetooth. The mirrors over here, it's, it wiggle a lot. Like it's crazy. The wiggle game is crazy on this truck right here, bro. It's really crazy. And I realize a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all like these vlogs, bro. I see a lot of y'all say y'all like the format of these vlogs. I think it's really cause I just, I got a passion for YouTube, man. It's like, I genuinely, I rock with it. It's, it's like art to me. I like art. I like music. Oh, by the way, bro, speaking on music, I make music. F Val I made a song called F Valentine's Day. That's coming out, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and put a snippet right here. Mind you, like this snippet, the song is not mixed. It's raw vocals. There's no compression, no EQ, no nothing on here. It's literally just my vocals and the beat. I'm gonna play a little snippet real quick for y'all though. Hey, hey, hey. I tell them, hey. 
like ain't a speak in a minute, I don't know what I've been wishing I ain't trying to ride the way, but I'm swimming I've been so deep in my bed, losing sleep from my past What's inside of me, I just can't stand the feeling I know that that gotta mean I gotta do some healing Girl, every time you calling me, I know what I've been missing And it's just a part of me that's flowing to the rhythm I can't have you all on top of me, you gone and I miss So I like say, a fuck Valentine's, like no, I cannot make you mine I don't wanna boogie down no more all these bitches coming around don't make a sound Cause if they can't hold it down, I don't even want to pound no more Alcohol ain't in my system, I don't drown no more Alright, welcome back, I hope y'all enjoyed that, bro That's gonna be dropping on Valentine's Day I'ma try to get some visuals if I can't I'ma just drop the song by itself, bro That's called F Valentine's Day F Valentine's Day, though Let me know if y'all get the message When I drop this song, let me know if you understand What the message of the, of the song is, man I'm gonna talk to y'all later though, man. Oh, so I'm doing flatbed. So the main thing about flatbed, I don't really got no flatbed experience. And it's crazy because I was gonna do flatbed with Swift, but I'm doing flatbed here. Bro, just even saying the name Swift just got a bad taste in my mouth, man. I'm so glad I'm over here. Man, bro, but Swift gave me that opportunity though. I was able to get that experience, so that's what's up. But I was gonna do flatbed with Swift. I was doing reefer. And I'm doing flatbed now. The only thing is, I don't really know how to secure the loads. So I'm about to ride with this guy for like two, three days, bro. Literally only like two, three days. So I'm gonna have to learn fast. And I, I think, and since I'm gonna be doing the same loads, pretty much getting the same stuff, give me like a week or two. Honestly, probably just like a week. All right, y'all. So right now I'm right outside the place that they about to, uh, I guess what I'm missing is a head. It's this rack that go right here. I know y'all flip, y'all flatbed guys. Y'all saying it right now. It's called a head ache shack. No, it's not called that. I don't know. I just found out what this is today. Whatever goes right here so that the load, whenever it slides forward, it has something to stop it from continuing to slide forward. But it shouldn't, you know, slide too much. Whatever this is called though, they putting that on here right now. So, this was, I believe this was done at the last minute and whatnot. Uh, they eager to get me on the road. I'm with it. You know, they eager to get paid. I'm eager to get paid. The cruise control isn't working. And something else is not working, but that's no biggie. Like this, I'm only going to be here with this truck for a couple days. So I'll be all right. Hey, I will tell you one thing. I feel like a man again. I just miss being out here. What they had me do, I tried to go through the gate. They said I can't because I didn't have these on here. Mind you, this is my first time with the flatbed. They said put these, I don't even know what these is called yet, but this is what they had to install though. They installed this on here. And you can put like chains and hook the stuff up on here. I already know y'all truckers, y'all know, but you know people that don't drive trucks or haven't been for a while might not know. And then you can store stuff in here. Apparently you can lock that up so nobody can steal nothing but they had me put these on here it was a little heavy there was all store right there uh these guys i work with they got me some new straps as well so just in case if these straps don't get the job done i could go ahead and uh get the new straps and whatnot but i'm about to go ahead and go through here because got like 20 minutes to the appointment time so i don't want to take too long and be late or something so good to be back out here though, man. So I drove about roughly like, I'm not gonna look at the camera cause this light is hidden right now. But I drove about roughly an hour. So I think I'm pretty much gonna be moving pipe. And I had a, I had a couple, I had like two or three frustrations, man. Cause it's my first time doing it. Buddy that was supposed to be with me to like show me how to do it. He wasn't even there, bro. They kind of finessed it. Like, I feel played a little bit. He ain't really helped me though. So I guess he really didn't have to come. But now I'm about to take this load myself, which is what I wanted and what he wanted as well. I could tell he really didn't want to go with me. I, I didn't, I just needed him to show me how to strap it down anyway. But honestly, the strap, strapping it down was way easier than I thought, bro. It's, I thought it was, cause what made me think it was so complex is cause when I was in the military, Shout out to the Motor T guys. 
every time because I used to work on the flight line. So whenever we had to move a quad con, well, I was in charge of like bringing the flatbed, ordering the flatbed for us, bringing the flatbed on the flight line, and then make sure, making sure that we get the Humvee to lift the quad con up, put it on the flatbed. And then I'll watch them like strap it down and they use the chains for the quad cons, but and the Marines, I think we always just make things more complicated than what it had to be. So every time I seen the strap, it was like one of them complex ones. Cause it wasn't this simple. This literally, all you're doing is throwing it over and boom, it's it's simple. You just twist it down. They could have just told me that. They could have just told me that. But I gotta get there about uh seven in the morning. I'm gonna wake up about like four. I'm gonna wake up earlier than that just to get a little 10 minute workout session and you can work out 10 minutes a day and that'll get you right. And then I gotta shoot some videos for my other channel, bro. I got like four YouTube channels, man. I love it though, bro. YouTube is like, the more I do it, the more I just do it on like the side, I kind of just autopilot, like I just make it. I do it without even thinking. Like right now, bro, I'm just vlogging, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, like companies hitting me up, I'm trying to sponsor some of these videos. So stay tuned, bro. Start hitting some of these companies back in the email and we gonna get them in our videos, bro. Whenever we do that, it's just show love, bro. It's just support. Support your boy. Like we trying to get up there with uh, Alex Nino and them. Alex Nino, uh, what's the other one? Cause I be paying attention to the big channel. That's how you grow. I seen The Power of Thinking Big, that's a book, I suggest it. Small-minded people, average people, compete with smaller people. And I don't wanna say average, like, like, cause that shit sound rude as fuck. Let me not say average, bro, cause right now I guess I'm in the average position, but like, I get, you could say big thinkers, people who wanna win, they compete, you can interchange that word with like a different word, compete with, bigger like the best the top of the mountain you know what i'm saying like you compare like say you got a youtube channel compare your channel to the big channels like see what they doing and then take the good leave the bad take the good make your own gumbo go to this other channel boom see what you're doing huh? and i do that with everything just in life like it don't even matter i seen nipsey hustle say something like i take game without people even giving it to me like he was saying if he even hears something, like some advice, it don't even gotta be about his situation. He gonna take it and apply it. Y'all probably know, I'm not quoting it right, but that's pretty much what he was saying. Like he can hear a game from whatever situation and then apply it to himself. But I'm about to go ahead and, uh, I'm about to get my rest in, man. I'm, I'm actually, I'm grateful to be back out here, man, I am. Because Swift tried to do me dirty, bro. And I got, the, I'm like, damn, I got the CDL for no reason. I made this channel for no reason. Like, nah, no way, bro. No way, I gotta, I feel good again though. Like it's weird as I was just, they had me, I had to have a hard hat, a vest and some uh, steel toe boots. I was just putting this flatbed down. I felt like a man once again. I mean, I feel like a man every day, but I just felt, it felt more manly. It felt more of a manly job to do. I'm sitting there, look, this is me. I'm, and then it's a whole bunch of like Mexicans out here with, working with, working where I'm at, a whole bunch of Mexicans. I'm over here. I got the vest on. In my, career, in my eyesight, I see vest, hard hat, the safety glasses, and like my hands is all dirty because I don't got no gloves yet. I wasn't even expecting to hit the road today. So I'm over here, you know what I'm saying? Twisting this shit on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, though. I'm gonna chop it up with y'all, bro. Stay tuned for that F Valentine's Day song, though. That shit hard, bro, for real. That shit hard. Stay tuned for these hats. Y'all want to support? Go ahead and pre-order right now. My vlogs gonna be a little bit longer because I'm gonna start taking my time with these vlogs. We ain't gonna rush through them. Shout out to y'all, man. We going. Let's get it.